Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Audrey. Today is day 18 of the summer scrapping series. Only a couple more days to go. Um, today my guest is Heather Leopard, a long time uh, in real life scrappy friend, although I haven't seen her in a very long time too. Please go check out her wonderful page. Um, so today I am very excited because I am working with the August 22nd, Thursday, August 22nd, Peachy Cheap deal. So I was in contact with Peachy Cheap, which is, they have a daily deal, uh, scrapbooking deal. And they sent me the Dear Lizzie It's All Good kit to work with, which is um, going to be available on Thursday, August 22nd. Um, so you can go check that out on Peachy Cheap's website. I will link that down uh, at the bottom. And um, I just went through all the products I received, a whole bunch of papers and a ton of embellishments. So I'm going to use these for my page today. And what I was super excited to see was a piece of paper with anchors on it. So I'm definitely going to use that piece uh, on my page. So I have started with this pink piece of paper um, for my background. And I chose a photo um, of my son and one of his friends fishing, uh, a friend from the cottage, and I thought, you know what, I am going to use um, a boy photo on this page that has pink on it, because that kind of stuff doesn't bother me, so I'm going to do it. Um, and I really wanted to use, uh, again, the anchor paper. And then this piece of paper has, um, you know, little bits to cut out, three by four cards, some tags, some journaling spots. And I'm going to use um, one of them to back my photo here with some kind of a lighter blue um, frame. So this piece was actually a little bit bigger than my photo, so I just cut it in half and then I... Um, uh, you know, position it so that you can see the, the mat around the photo. And then you don't even see the seams in the, in the final product. So I'm doing kind of some color blocking. I picked out the papers that mostly were kind of a tone on tone. And um, I love the anchor paper. Um, and I'm trying to add in some of the other papers here. And I wanted to add in this gingham paper too. So I'm playing around with this, this design for quite a while because the anchor paper, and I finally figured out what it was. And the anchor paper is so dark and the other papers are a, a little bit lighter in their tone. So the anchor piece just kind of takes over everything. So um, in a little bit here, I decide to take the big piece of anchor paper off and um, and switch it up a little bit. So I took out the die cuts and I love these little phrases. They're so cute. Um, and I, uh, there's a whole bunch of other little die cuts in there, but the phrases are really stuck with me. And the same, some of the same phrases are on the chipboard. So I'm going to kind of mix those together. And I thought I would use a couple of them. So I'm just kind of throwing embellishments around right now, seeing what looks good together. And I love those little triangles. You can make them into a banner. Um, and use them for all kinds of things. So I thought perhaps it was the pink background that was throwing me off. The other thing is that my photo has a ton of colors in it. So I actually considered maybe printing this photo in black and white, but I don't like to do that all the time, even though I think it makes, you know, for an easier scrapbook layout because you don't have to match any colors or you don't have to worry about clashing and anything goes with black and white. Sometimes I just feel like it takes away from the character of the photo. So I'm going to just keep this photo as it is. So I decided to try punching out some circles from the anchor paper. And I love the way, I mean, of all my, all of my circle punches fit perfectly around these anchors and cut these cute little um, circles with anchors as the focal point. So I decided that I'm going to throw some circles on this page instead, instead of using the big piece of um, the anchor paper. So I'm mixing up some other circles in there too with that gingham print and maybe a couple of circle embellishments. So I don't know, sometimes I, I, I did a page and during my last week uh, of summer scrapping in July with a lot of circles, I think it was then, um, and I don't like to I don't know, I don't like to do the same thing over and over again, but sometimes just reverting back to a simple punch design or something is um, 
you know, just, just the way to go. So I am going to use the circles, I think. Um, I thought maybe about adding a rainbow strip in here, but now it's getting pretty colorful. Um, and again, I think the colors in my photo were just a lot. So I'm going to play around with this design for quite a while and I keep coming back and forth and then I've been trying not to use a lot of white cardstock for my background but if I do to really um, ink it up and make it look like it's not white cardstock. I'm going to go back to the pink because that was my original plan. I think it adds, um, you know, it's just a little bit more fun on the page. And I'm just going to add my mixed media to this. So I'm using a couple different combinations of shimmers here. And I'm just going to add, do some blue in the background and kind of a minty color. I love watching, um, I love watching this process and super fast, not, not this fast, but even faster because you can actually see the paint dry and see how it moves around the page when it's really wet. I think it's pretty cool. So if you go back and watch this, it's super fast speed. It's kind of neat to see uh, how the paint spreads and, and dries. I'm going to add a few darker spots to kind of pick up some of the dark, uh, the dark contrast of the anchor paper. When I know I'm going to use a lot of mixed media like this, I try to tape down my page so it doesn't warp as much. It doesn't always work very good, but... And then I'm going to go back with some peach splatters. I'm going to pick up on the peach in the page. And then I think I go back with just a little bit of gold because there were some uh, gold accents, gold foil accents in some of the embellishments and the uh, chipboard as well the die cuts in the chipboard. Okay, so to kind of bring in a little bit more of the theme of my photo, I have this stencil. This is an Echo Park stencil. It's fish. I saw, um, I think it was Virginia Walker use it on a page weeks ago, and I just had to have it because it's fish, and I do a lot of fish pages. So I'm going to go through with some distress inks and just kind of add, a, I don't want it to be like too bold, so I'm going to add um, some fish in the background here. Okay, I'm going to start gluing things down here, glue my photo to my mat. I don't know why I don't do this sooner. I know I'm going to use it, and then I end up just pushing it around all the time, realigning it. Um, so I should glue my photos onto my mats sooner. So instead of using green strips, I decided to cut... Um, punch some green circles as well. So now I have the anchor circles, the green circles, the gingham circles. Uh, I punched a couple blue circles from um, a piece of the pattern paper as well. And now that I have all these circles spread out, I'm going to go back through and add on some of my embellishments. And I like, really like this, the way this is looking uh, better than where I was going at the beginning. And then these little triangle bits, these little triangle with chipboard pieces, Again, you can use them for a banner, but I just want to use them kind of as design elements. And I think when you use triangles like this, I think it adds a lot of movement to your page and um, can help you, you know, put focus on a subject or um, make the, the view look kind of bigger too. And then on the chipboard, these there's these little phrases. They're actually balloons, these little circles, but I cut off the little... Um, balloon tab just to make them look like circles and actually all the phrases were pretty pretty cute for um, my photo and they kind of fit it fit it well um, you'll notice that I'm I have there's like an orange banner piece and then this orange circle and then I have a little bit of the orange in the um, tab at the top of my photo so I'm going to kind of balance the orange um, colors around and even though I use, I did use all the color, so it's kind of, you know, it has a lot of color in it. I didn't just stick with the blue and the um, peach and the green. And then a couple little gold hearts scattered around. Okay. 
and I think that design wise that's pretty much it so now I'm just gonna go through and glue and I've learned the hard way to make sure that I always glue my chipboard pieces down even if they're very sticky because they do not always stay oh I have a little helper here who was the star of this photo so he came to check it out my kids love when I make pages about them and they love to provide some of their input on what I should do design wise and what I should put where, and what I should say for the title. <laughs> I forgot to distress the edge of my photo, and it was already glued down, so I'm just gonna rough it up with my fingers here. So when you look at this collection, I think right away you're not immediately, you don't immediately say, oh, boy page, but, um, and I don't think it necessarily has to be boyish or girlish. Uh, you know, it can just be what you want it to be. Um, but yeah, but I think that this actually came out as a pretty cute um, boy page using these papers. I, and like when you look at this right now, you can see what I mean about the contrast with the anchors. Like that anchor paper is so dark compared to the other papers, um, which are a lot lighter. So I'm really glad that I toned down the anchors and didn't use too much of it um, as as the main focus of the page. So again, all these papers, this whole entire kit is available at uh, Peachy Cheap um, on Thursday, August 22nd. So be sure to go check out that deal. And I think that wraps it up. I went through, added some journaling, and there is the final page. I love those phrased die cuts, super cute. So thank you so much to Peachy Cheap for having me as a guest today. And be sure to go check out my guest's page and channel, Heather Lepper. And I will see you tomorrow for my next page. Stay scrappy, friends.